Hello and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. In today's video of custom QuickBooks training, I'm going to talk to you about how to apply customer prepayments. In this video, I'm using the QuickBooks Online Canadian version. If you're using the US version, the instructions will be similar, but not exactly the same. I'm going to show you how to create your overpayment for accounts receivable, how to create the invoice, and then how to connect those two things. I'm going to start by receiving a payment from my customer. To do this, I'm going to click on plus new in the upper left hand corner. I like to think of plus new is the I want to do something button. So then I go down to customers and under customers I select receive payment. I'm going to select my customer. In this case it'll be Kathy's Consulting Company. It says Kathy's Consulting Company doesn't have any sort of open invoices. Well that's correct. She's given me a deposit. The date Canadian standard so it's day month year. The payment method I'm going to select check. The reference number, I'm going to use 123. We'll just pretend like that's our check number. Let's say that our deposit is $100. Down here, there's no invoice to match it to. I'm going to go ahead and select Save and Close in the lower right-hand corner. This says I did not select any invoices, and what's going to happen is there'll be a credit against the customer's account. That's terrific. That's exactly what I want. I'm going to choose Save as Credit. I want you to see what this looks like on the financial reports before I move on. So let me just zip over here and show you. I'm going to go to reports. I'm going to go to accounts receivable, aging summary. When I look at this, I see Kathy's consulting company. I see Kathy's consulting company as a negative $100, meaning that she has overpaid us by $100. If we're curious about why, we can click on this 100 and we can see a list and we're like, yep, that's that payment. I remember now. I want to show you also the profit and loss just so you have an aha moment. So let me change this to be today's date and run report. There's no income. The money I've collected from Kathy is not showing up as an income. All right. Now let's go ahead and make an invoice for Kathy. So I'm going to go new. I'm going to go invoice. I'm going to say Kathy today's date because I'm just that creative. Product and service. Let's sell some catering. I could totally go for some catering right now. Um, let's say that it's $250 worth of catering. Remember, she gave us a $100 invoice. Say that the tax is Ontario tax. So I type in ON for Ontario. You can click the drop down and pick your tax rate. Okay, so there's not going to be a class. I'm not doing class tracking for this example. I'm not going to save and send because this is the sample QuickBooks and it won't actually go anywhere. So let me go ahead and just do save and close. Before I apply the payment she's given me, I really want you to see how this looks within the QuickBooks file. So let's go ahead and go over here to reports. And let's go to accounts receivable aging summary. And let's go Kathy. It shows Kathy owes us 182. That's terrific. We know that. If I click on the 182, you're going to see that there's the 282.50 and then the deposit, but those two things are not connected up with each other. If I click on this invoice of 282.50, you're going to see the balance due is 282.50. That's kind of unfair because she gave us $100. It is possible that you have your settings configured in such a way that you won't need to manually connect them. I always disable that and manually connect things so that I can apply payments as I intend or as my client intends. So if this is what you see when you go to look at a, like a situation or a client like this, I want to show you how to get those things connected. All right, the first and most obvious way is to click on receive payment in the upper right hand corner. Right now, QuickBooks thinks that I'm receiving a payment of 182.50, and that's not true. All I'm really doing is saying I would like to apply the $100 that was previously sent to me. I want to apply that to my invoice 1017. To make this happen, I'm going to change my payment amount to 100. I'm going to make sure my unapplied payment 
is selected and there's $100. So what I'm saying really, QuickBooks take this money that I have previously collected from my client and not applied to an invoice and apply it to this invoice. I had $100 I have not yet applied. Apply the entire $100 to this one invoice. If I had multiple invoices, you'd see them listed. If I had multiple unapplied payments, you'd see them listed. What I really want to make sure of is that it says $0 in the upper right hand corner. The reason I want it to say $0 is because I'm not collecting any additional money. I will eventually collect the additional money, but for right now, it's just the $100 that I'm trying to connect. So I'm going to go ahead and click save and close. Now when I look at this, this is my AR aging detail that we clicked on earlier. I can see that my invoice original amount was $282.50. The open or money that is still being owed to us is $182.50. I can click on the $182.50. I can see that $182.50 is the amount due. I can look at the one payment made and I can see that $100 was applied from check number 123. If you're not here, you don't want to go in the invoice. The other way to approach this would have been to go to plus new, go to receive payment and would have taken you to the exactly this payment screen. So I'll show you what it looks like, right? It would have taken you to this screen. Thank you so much for watching. If there are any topics that you'd like to see, please don't hesitate to reach out. If you have any questions about QuickBooks, please don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you so much and we'll chat soon.